tell us about I was popping this D by to this bed by fact. Fact shit, this is dumbest criminals caught on social media. I hope they show this one dude. <laughs> There's this dude, he made a whole music video bragging about how he was scamming for unemployment insurance. He was creating all these fake identities and fake people and they were sending him checks like left and right. Right when COVID hit, it was very easy for people to get unemployment insurance. Like they were passing out like candy. Even some of my family members was popping up with hella money. They we had on Gucci, Prada, and all type of shit. And I was like, where the fuck y'all get this from? I was already suspicious, but anyway, that's my business. But yeah, so people be scamming and then exposing themselves on social media. That's not smart at all, y'all. Y'all just dumb. Uh, but but let's see who who they call us. Watch. Some criminals are incredibly intelligent, able to evade justice for months, years, or even a lifetime. Mm. Others, not so much. Even those who break the law can fall victim to the powerful urge to share their lives online, overriding their common powerful sense urge. completely. Today, we'll be looking at 10 of the dumbest criminals who were caught thanks to social media. It's 10, but we're not watching all 10 because this video is 20 minutes. In March 2012, incompetent criminal Michael Baker came upon an unattended police cruiser in Jenkins, Kentucky. While most people would simply walk on by, 20-year-old Baker took a different approach. He grabbed a gas can, stuck a siphon hose into the car, and had his girlfriend, Joanne Sendelin, snap a charming photo as he brandished his middle finger. The fun could have ended there, but Baker went one step further proudly posting a photo to his Facebook account. Along with friends and family, Jenkins police officials also saw the picture and Baker was consequently arrested and charged with theft by unlawful taking. Dummy. Baker explained to local media outlets that there was hardly any fuel in the squad car and the whole exercise was intended only as a joke. He told TV station WYMT, we oh, was okay. just standing there and thought it would be funny to take a picture and then post it on but, Facebook. But you really saw it Sandalin added, yeah, we're sorry, but it was just a joke. I mean, if we was going to steal gas, we wouldn't put it nationwide on Facebook. He just said that he stole it, but it was just a little bit that he stole. So y'all contradicting yourself. What are you talking about? He Look, said, we don't steal anyway, but we're sure sorry. Sure. Police Chief Alan Borms told media that if Baker was willing to steal from the police, he'd steal from just about anybody. Here, Despite his impressive explanation and his girlfriend's heartfelt apology, Baker spent the night in jail as a result of this photo opportunity. Look at After he was about. released, he got right back on social media, posting, Just got out of jail. Yeah, LOL. I went to jail to over Facebook. Jail. Sounds like he learned his lesson, right? Michael, get out of my face. I was denied, If I'm gonna go to jail for some shit, I better come up financially heavy. Kevin Gaines Jr. of DeLand, Florida, was a wanted man in November 2019. The 20 year old was sought by police on several no charges possession of a firearm by a delinquent, grand theft auto, criminal mischief, and having no valid driver's license. Yeah, no he was way. also considered armed and dangerous. You'd think with that list, Gaines would want to keep a low profile. Think again. Mm. After successfully evading authorities for about a month, Gaines made an interesting decision on December 26th. Oh, nice. He went live on Instagram. Little did he know, a police deputy had spotted the car Gaines had stolen parked at a house on Beresford Avenue in DeLand. As Gaines broadcast to his Instagram account inside the house, a group of police officers was gathering outside with the live feed confirming Gaines' location. Wow. Oh, it was called a live They get to the house. He just shut his live off until the cops are here. Oh. When Deputy Billy Levin shone a spotlight into the window of the home, the light was visible in the Instagram video, which ended rather suddenly when Gaines realized he'd been caught. Hey, you can tell them to either come on out or we're going to write a search warrant. We'll go in and get them. Yeah, he was on a live video, and as soon as he saw the blue lights, he shut the live video off, and they said, man, hurry up, because they're here. Yeah, yeah. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Oh, 
Gaines surrendered to the authorities, who found three firearms inside the house, plus one underneath a car in the driveway. He was successfully arrested on the many charges he had racked up That's before cute. giving himself up on Instagram. Wow. British man Michael Ruse was on trial for assault in June 2012. The 21-year-old was accused of violently attacking his friend's father using a baseball bat and a baton, and he had entered a not guilty plea. What the fuck? Being tried for the crime is pretty stressful, but Ruse wasn't worried about being convicted. In fact, as the trial progressed, he was so convinced that he'd be found not guilty that he shared his high hopes on his Facebook account. Ruse did use a pseudonym on Facebook, posting under the name Michael Miles, but that didn't protect him from the consequences of his foolish words. Throughout his two-week trial, he shared gems like, nearly time to leave for Crown and see the stuck-up judge. But the stupidest moment of all came when Ruse shared an update that said, another week at court. A friend commented on the status asking about his case, and Ruse unbelievably responded, yeah, I think I got away with it, to be honest. He even managed to misspell got. Six people liked this incredibly foolish status update, but one of Ruse's Facebook Six friends people. with a taste for justice printed the evidence and got it into the hands <laughs> of prosecutors. Since Get he had been caught essentially confessing to the crime, Ruse had almost no choice but to change his plea to guilty. Wow. Ian Pearson, the judge presiding over the case, told Ruse, you pleaded guilty part way through the trial only really because you were stupid enough to put on Facebook what amounted to a full confession. Ruse was sentenced to 46 weeks in prison for the assault. After the incident, Ruse's attorney told the media that the young man needs help with regards to thinking skills. Hey. That sounds like He's a like serious Tom, understatement. But, uh, my face, what is my face? Florida resident Whitney Beal made a very dangerous decision in October 2015. After a night of partying, she drove home drunk. But Beal didn't stop at just one stupid choice. She also decided to use the Periscope app to live stream her reckless journey. Beal can be heard on the video declaring, If you're not new, I'm driving home drunk. Oh my god. Amid the sound of fellow drivers honking at Beal, she noticed how many viewers were tuning in to her bad idea, saying, 57 people. Bitch, you're gonna die. Oh my god. I didn't know I'd get this many people. I am super drunk in the USA. The light is red. I promise. But don't worry, Beale obviously had safety on her mind too. She told her shocked Periscope viewers, It's not true. Driving drunk is not <coughs> Some of those watching the video feed called 911, and a Lakeland down. police officer was able to locate Beale's car oh. by logging into the live stream. She was pulled over and arrested after failing a field Beal sobriety Beal test. Beal. On the way to the police station, Beal reportedly threw up in the back of the cruiser. Whitney Beal pleaded no contest to a charge of driving under the influence. She was sentenced in February 2016 to 12 months of probation, alcohol That's evaluation it? and treatment, a 10-day impound of her vehicle, and a six-month suspension of her license. These are standard consequences for drunk driving. But Beal was also sentenced to 150 hours of community service and 10 days of weekend work release as a result of her decision to publicize her poor choices. Oh, you got one, bitch. It's one thing to endanger your own life. That's your own stupid decision. That's, that's your choice. But to bring other people into it, that's just fucked up. You could have hit anybody and killed somebody with your stupid ass. And they should have gave her some jail time. Like, that's not enough. 
All the things they no, that's not enough. She needs jail time on top of that. Fuck a community service and all that. Let her ass sit in jail and think about that for some time. This is triggering for me because I was in a car accident a few months ago and I am convinced that the nigga who hit me was drinking. And I asked them to do a breathalyzer. I'm like, I think he's been drinking. Like, y'all not going to test him? And they're just like, no, it's a liability issue. We don't do them often like that anymore. I was like, what? And the officer was like, ma'am, I've been doing this for a long time. And I, I don't think he's been drinking. That, that's not enough. No, he needs to be tested. Because why else would he just run this fucking light and run into me like this? I think he's been drinking. I don't think he's all the way there upstairs. Y'all not going to do no test? No, they refused. They fucking refused. I was like, really? Is, is, is this real life? Like, are y'all serious? I hate people. I really do. And she could have killed somebody. I think she should have definitely got some time for that. All these people who did these crimes, they get everything that's coming to them. And then y'all had the audacity to brag about it and to talk shit on social media. But your little three followers, they don't even care. Y'all are just dumb. I can't stand people. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what videos I'm going to watch, and I'll see y'all the next one.